Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, here we go. And people who have different backgrounds, you can have your own set of questions, especially for people with Java background. I will answer your questions later in the class because this class we will dedicate to VA uh, and QA questions, okay? And we will understand their uh, questions on priority and Java questions are solve that, okay? And I'll really appreciate if you be on you have a lot of public. I cannot give you uh, on a frequent basis. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Okay. So try to understand first. Then we'll understand about roles and responsibilities about your job and why. Um, uh, web services are important, why these terms are important. Just try to understand the concept first. Okay, so you start with let's do a deep drive in web services first. What is web services? Before doing that, let's understand what is XML. Because we understand XML as web services are defined, web services are described, web services are communicated with the help of XML. Okay, so XML, what is XML? XML stands for extensible markup language, okay? XML is designed to carry data. So this is very important, people. Carrying data and displaying data, okay? So remember that whenever we have an XML, and we do have something called as HTML. So what is in the carrying data? So data from, uh, let's say, screen is carried to a UI. UI is user interface, which is shown to you as a user interface, as a website, okay? We will also go through a small website and see what is data and what is UI. What the UI is a representation of this data. So we are not bothering about UI at all. We are bothering about what is data, okay? So what is data is given, is defined, is transported, is, uh, is, is aligned with the help of XML. So XML is technology for that, okay? It has nothing to do with view of the data. It is just how data is transported. Okay, let's go back. XML tags are not predefined. So XML comes with tags. That actually tells you that XML comes with the tags and these tags are not predefined. Okay, You must define your own tags and I will have a small example below that. Okay, XML is designed to be self-descriptive. Okay, what is in the self descriptive? So, if you read in XML, if you just read this XML, you will be able to understand what we are talking about. Okay, so what this software is communicating, you will be able to understand that. Okay, okay, so what it's supposed to mean? How does it look like? So, let's see how does it look like. So, let's take an example. In English language, I can communicate like my name is David Woods. It's not though, but my name is David Woods. My address is 200 Oakland Parkway, 10 by FL, 33639. This is my entire address and my name. If a software system wants to communicate this information with the help of XML, we will do what? We will start with the help of a tag. Okay? So what information we are communicating? 
we are communicating information of a person. So we start with the person tag. Okay. Inside that we have a name tag which represents the name. Inside that you have address tag which will represent the entire address. Okay. Now see here, see the magic. You have person tag starting inside that you have sub tag or inside that you have a child tag. Okay. Now I have said that this is a tag. Okay. Then this is your information. This is the data and tag ends. This is also important. So every tag must end in XML. Okay. So there name tag started. You have your data. Name tag ended. Address tag started. You have your data. Address tag ended. Now this both tag are in under person information of a person. So person tag ends after that. So every tag can have sub tag in it. Okay. So this is a normal definition. And again, I told you you define the tag. Okay. You might have a first name, last name, different tag. You might not have name tag a simple one. Or address as street, city, uh, state, and zip code. Okay, you may have that. It's all depends on you. You define XML tags. Okay, remember that. Okay. If you have a question, feel free to stop. Now. Okay, you can just ping the questions. I will be answering that. So, what is this person and name and all? These are called as tags. Okay. So, this person, this name, everything is called as tags. Okay. The tags in the example above, like person and name, are not defined in any XML standard. Like there is no standard rule set, there is no language rule that these tags are only defined and these tags should be only used. Okay. The tags are invented by the author of XML document. So who is whoever is the author of XML document will invent those tags. XML has no predefined tags. Why this is read? Interview question. XML language has no predefined tag. Remember this for interview. Very, very important. Okay? Okay. So let me go back to some questions which are coming. Can you tell me what is the difference between XML and HTML? Okay. XML and HTML. HTML is used for view. Okay? HTML is used for viewing the information. That's what I was explaining here. Okay? So viewing information, so this is XML and this is HTML. So HTML is view, how data is shown on the screen. XML is data, which data is shown on the screen, okay? So this data is transported to HTML to get a view, okay? So that's the difference between HTML and XML. Yes, material will be provided to you. Okay. Coding is almost same. Which one? Yeah. So HTML has predefined tags. HTML has predefined. It's a language. It's complete language. HTML is a complete language. You have to write your predefined input, output, and all those HTML body. XML do not have predefined tag. Remember that XML do not have predefined tags. Okay. Okay. HTML is not a topic. Here. Now, why you are learning this? Why you are actually learning XML? Because XML is everywhere. So whenever there is two different heterogeneous software system or any kind of software system though want to communicate with some data okay XML is widely used so till date so till date we do not have a replacement of XML so if there is a software system which needs to communicate or data needs to communicate to another let's say this is a Java application this is uh, probably on Tomcat server or whatever and this is a mainframe application. And data is getting transferred from Java to mainframe. There is no alternative but XML. So till date, we did not find any any um, data transportation layer than XML. Okay. So it's it's excellent data transportation as standard 
across the industry. Okay. So that's why you are using in short XML is the most common tool for data transmission between all sort of applications. So think about this situation right now. So we have a lot of people around here. Okay, see this is me. Okay, so and this is this is Vinny probably. Okay, this is uh, Shalaka. Okay, so everybody is in here and we speak different languages. Uh, I speak in the let's say. Okay, then uh, when you speak Telugu let's say and Shalaka speaks uh, Bangla. Okay, but think about this which language we are communicating it? We are communicating in English. Why? Because it's common language across industry and it's common language for communication. Similarly, this application might be Java application, this application might be Google application, this might be another application. This, they wrote in the different languages, but when they want to communicate with each other, when they are communicating with each other, they are actually using XML as a standard way to do it. Okay, so software systems communicate with the help of XML. Okay, okay. So see here the software systems you can see system A is communicating with XML with system B. Okay, okay. So let me go back to the questions again. How secure XML for data transfer? Security is altogether different prospect. You can secure XML in different ways. Okay. So there can be SSL, there can be SCPPS, secure protocols, and things like that. Okay. XML can be backend and HTML can be frontend. Yeah, frontend and backend are widely used and uh, wrongly used terms in software industry. So every person has his own perspective of frontend and backend. We will talk about it. What is mean predefined tag? Predefined tag is uh, predefined means language. So like HTML, HTML has a tag called HTML which is predefined. You have to use that tag to write HTML. Okay. XML do not have any kind of predefined tags. You can create your own tag. Okay. Transfer data between apps. Absolutely. Both are same, no. ATL and XML are different. Yeah, that's a nice definition book. XML is only tool to communicate. XML is, is XML is a standard to communicate between two softwares. Yes. Not only. There are different tools as well. Okay? It's not only. Okay. Okay. It's like SQL. No, SQL has a standard. SQL is a standard language. Okay. What are the next question? I will be repeating questions for you. I will not allow everyone to talk with each other. That will be creating a mess. I know what happens then. If XML can define data, yes, XML is data definition, absolutely. How does the system understand the data is suffer? That's the question I was looking for. Thanks a lot, Bindu. So, yes, the question is how does the system understand the data is transferred? Because there is no, so think about this. We define this language, okay? So, it's like if other people are communicating in, um, in let's say, two Telugu people among us speaking in Telugu. And we do not understand a word, okay? But they understand each other, right? Because the words they are using are predefined protocol for both of them, because they understand that word. So similarly, whenever this information gets transferred, this information gets transferred. The one software system which sends this information has an information, and another software which is receiving that same information 
knows that this information is coming. Okay, so that's how XML communicates. Okay, how does test Yes, yeah, that we are coming to that point. XML is not a tool; it's a standard. It's extensible markup language. Okay. Yeah, I will be repeating that, don't worry. Okay, so yes, third slide. So we are talking about XML here. Now remember, I have shown you a one a nice XML here. Uh, a person, the name tag, the name is represented, address and address is represented. I also told you that if we define different tags, we can use different tags for using or for representing same information. And I am actually doing that here itself. So I am saying that information is customer information. Okay. So this is the root tag information. We will explain this uh, XML altogether. It starts with customer. Customer ID equals to something. I will tell you what is this. Okay. As of now, do not concentrate on this. Now here, name. Name has child node, first name, and last name. Okay, address has address line 1, address line 2, city has tempa, state is of L, zip code is 33639, address is completed, customer is completed, information is completed. Okay, so this is another way to represent a data and this is also correct way. So there is no wrong way as such. Every information, every way is correct way because there are no defined tags in XML. So what are these? What is this? But how this tag is completing all of a sudden, okay? So what, how this data is represented? So let's see, okay? So whenever see that customer cusp ID equals to one two zero one two zero zero, so name equals to value within the tag is called as attribute. Why this is called in red? Enter your question. Remember that. So attribute representation name equals to value within the tag is attribute. Node can have sub node, name can have first name, address can have address line one, customer can have name, information can have customer. So name can oh sorry, node can have sub node. End tag or node ends with uh, this thing. Symbol. This is the symbol for ending the tag. Okay. Nodes don't have value can be ended like this. You see here. So I may not start that, I just end it immediately and I can do that with this. So node which do not have value can be ended like this, okay? So this is a proper XML representation and explanation of different type of nodes, okay? So let me go back to question. Address line 2 part, we do not have data for address line 2. You can Nodes which do not have value, if you do not have any value for address line 2, you can end that tag immediately. Okay. What is exactly can be asked about attribute thing? Okay, I'll tell you that. Uh, plus, let me go back to the question. What should be a tab or space between the start and end tag name? No, there is uh, there is no no such rule. There is no such rule having a tab and space. This is just a normal representation so that it should look good. Okay, there is no standard way to have a number of tabs here or number of spaces here. Okay, it's absolutely fine to start every node on the first column. It's totally fine. There is no problem in that. Okay. So whenever within the tag, see customer, within the tag, if you have name equal to value, then this particular information is called as attribute, okay? This particular information is called as attribute, okay? This is not comment. This is just saying that you are using XML version 1 and encoding UTF width. So you may ignore this information. This is just telling that you are using XML of version 1 encode you have unified text format 8 bit okay if it does not make any sense it's completely fine okay can sub tag have a base tag yes absolutely name can again have information tag in it 
information can again have name tag in it, there is no problem because the information is saved in hierarchical format. Okay, so it is like our uh, this class itself has three Ravi. Okay, so does that make all of them same? No, every Ravi is different. So similarly, name uh, has information tag means it's information about the name. But if, if address has information tag, then it's information about the address, right? So so completely, you can have same name inside that tag. That's completely fine. Okay. Customer does the end, no problem. Customer, see, customer is here. Customer ended here. Why we need empty tag? If you told somebody that you will send address line to, then you have to send it whether or not your information is exist or not. Okay, it's like that. It's like your friend told you that I, whether you are coming or not, send me a text message. So you have to send a text message, either you are going or you are not going, but you will send a text message, right? Similarly, whenever two software systems communicate, software system communicates, if one software system told that I will send you address line 2, he will send address line 2 regardless information is there or not. No damn tag is the same entity. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you are calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.